there! Let's talk about arithmetic word problems and how to identify arithmetic operations. Now these are the four key operations that you've learned in grade school and the specific order to this is known in the PEMDAS kind of mnemonic and parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, we've all learned this before. It is imperative that you know the specific order though because a small miss and you can make a huge mistake on your SAT. So let's get started with a few practice problems. So in this problem, Miss Smith is filling goodie bags for her students. If she puts three treats in each bag, she will make 20 bags of treats with no leftovers. If instead she puts four treats in each bag, how many bags of treats can she make? So in this problem, we can see that she has three treats in each bag and there are 20 bags. So we can simply multiply the number of treats with the number of bags to get 3 times 20. 3 treats in each bag, which are 20 bags, which leaves us with 60 treats in total. So now that we know we have 60 treats, if she puts 4 treats in each bag instead of 3, we have to figure out how many bags there are. So we have to now find this part of the equation. So we can do 60 divided by 4. So 60 divided by 4, which would be 15. So now we know that the answer to this is 15 bags. So let's move on to the next problem. Sammy bought four pencils at his local stationery store. He gave the cashier a $10 bill and got $2.75 in change. He noticed that he got too much change, so he gave back 75 cents. What was the price of each pencil? So, we know that he bought four pencils, and he gave a $10 bill, which he got $2.75 in change. So if he gave back 75 cents of the $2.75, that means he actually was supposed to pay $2. So, we know that his change is $2, so we can write right here, change, $2, because we got that by subtracting 0 0.75 plus from $2.75. So we know the change is 2 and he gave the cashier a $10 bill. So if we subtract that, 10 minus 2 is 8. So that's how much his pencils was worth. So pencil worth is $8. What's a really important key here is to read the instructions. So it says, what was the price of each pencil? And if we read back, he actually bought four pencils. So what we do is divide 8 by 4. So if we divide 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So that's how much each pencil was worth, $2. Now for our final problem, Marley, Joe, and Anne collect coins. Marley has 10 coins and gives half to Joe, who has double the coins she has. Joe gives half to Anne, who has double the coins he has. How many coins does Anne have? Now this is kind of harder than the previous two because it really combines all the elements of arithmetic operations. So if we want to do this, we have to really read carefully our starting amount, which is 10 coins. Marley has 10 coins and gives half to Joe. So we can write Marley right here. So after the transaction, Marley has 5 because she gives half to Joe. Now how much does Joe have? Well, Joe has the half Marley gave to him, which is 5. And he has double the coins Marley has. So if Marley has 5, Joe has 10. So now we have to figure out if Joe already has 5 plus what? equals 10, which is 5. So basically he has 5 plus 5, which is 10, which is double of Marley. So now Joe gives half to Anne. 
So let's write and right here. And if Joe gives half of his amount, which is 10, to Marley, to Anne, sorry, he would have 5. So now we can actually cross out this 1 5 and leave him as just 5. So if the same process occurs, then Anne would have the same amount Joe had. So Joe gives half to Anne, who now has double the coins he has. So Anne gets half of Joe's, and he gets double the coins, which means 5 times 2 is 10. So Anne has 10 coins. You will see a lot of these type of problems on the SAT, and the best way to work them out is normally to write the problem out piece by piece instead of taking it all at once. Thank you for listening, and this has been Arithmetic Word Problems on Arithmetic Operations, and this has been provided by SATFreePractice.com. See you next time.